to understand how something can be endless but not infinite, think of a circle. A fly can walk around and around the rim of a glass without ever coming to a barrier or stopping point. But nonetheless, it will soon retrace its steps. Again, the surface of the earth is a two-dimensional manifold which is finite but unbounded. Unbounded in the sense of having no edges. You can travel and travel on Earth's surface without ever coming to any truly impassable barrier. Meaning the movement of space. It's talking different beyond just you trying to walk. Because it's going to be better for you as a as a limited being, but if you were a spirit that can pass through all material, you were just going around the globe. But if you continue long enough, you will begin to recross your steps. All right. The reason that the two-dimensional surface of the earth is finite but unbounded is that it is bent in three-dimensional space into the shape of a sphere. Let's give you some examples. All right. Now. Okay. Understand that. Now let's look within that. Finite and unbounded. The fly moving around the glass. He says we eventually get back to where you've already walked upon. Unless we get slow down his advancement such that it takes forever to get back around to his place. There's the aspect of slowing the fly down so you would literally, literally move it. It would never stop moving but it move at such a Minuscule pace. Once again, gotta keep it moving. It's moving, but it's moving so slow that it's not discernible to the eye. You would be forever one and observer, forever be looking at the fly, waiting for it to move. And it would never appear to move. And this would go on forever. Because they never get back around to that spot. And if it was what the fly was just something that itself Alright, now we're gonna put we're gonna put the fly on the on a sphere on the ball instead of on a memory glass. And it's trying to move around the sphere. And there is the slowing of its movement. But there's also the availability of the stretching out of space. And then when we measure distance by the movement, Something. Feet, yards, inches. But of course, within an inch, within the measurements that a system we call an inch, it can be continuously broken down to smaller and smaller units, fractions of inches or whatever unit, smaller and smaller. 
cut it in slices, 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 and thinner, thinner, thinner. So when I fly, it's moving out, and we want to extend the space. It's in space. It gets to the point where is that that starting line? It's 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 a starting line. Something moving, starting a starting line, and moving, moving around. Right. There's a starting point, and there's that very first initial step. <coughs> Excuse me. A step. The distance will be determined upon the distance the legs can spread, if you will. But having you know, if it was just another ball, if it was a sphere upon a sphere, and the sphere had to roll along. Right, and so it's points and points, right? and we can extend the line out fraction, fraction, from that very point, from our very first movement of the roll, first rotation. If you, because you're trying to get to the next space, you're trying to roll around the sphere, but if you widen out the space small small smaller so that it's moving in its roles is once again it's so indeceptible that seems like it never moves because we are preventing it from getting around this globe. So we're ever getting back to this point unless we we make an infinity. We make it infinite. By utilizing available space that is available, but then getting smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller to take, to have the smallest unit available. That would be the smallest, be the first, very first movement. Once again, any set. Is only you're only able to comprehend this and find it because it has moved from a state of zero, perfect stillness. And we will forever once repeat that. Minuscule, very first movement doesn't even do just a spark movement of like the first intent. It was like it would never get off. It would get off a zero. Get off zero, but it never moved in theory past one. And that is something that we're not talking about getting to one. We're just saying it's off and on, it's off and it's on. So it's not even, you know. Between zero and one, it's nothing between zero and one. It's nothing between zero and one. The true one. It's just a chain. That 
first movement. It's being initiated. And I'm moving. Over. And then you had an aspect of a circle, a sphere, where the question is, is it truly perfectly round? Because as you move in on a circle, as you move in, on this, moving it closer and closer and closer. You eventually get where you have actually straight lines. You can get so small where you can consider a, this is just a series of straight lines and straight lines, straight lines. Think of edge as in this and this. It's a difference in degrees, a turn, a turn on degrees, this is be 90. And anything that differs from this perfect flatness, once again, no matter how small the degree and change, it is a change. It is a change. Zero. Once again, so in a circle, you go around here, its appearance is as roundness, but it's, it's just can get to what is this little lines, little lines, little lines, 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 lines. Just a straight line. There'd be a, a non-moving point, a line. And you can, it's just infinite straight lines. There's no true roundness. There's no bend to it. And if there isn't bending, a bending to it, then it actually goes counter because it is said, again, the surface of the earth is a two-dimensional manifold which is finite but unbounded. Unbounded in the sense of having no edges, but it has edges. A circle has edges. It's just that it's so small. At the end of sight, there's as you see that turn, that is actually an edge. The turn, the turn is is a di is a leaving from this point of perfect balance, zero point. From that perfect balance, from the very once again, that first initial. You want to call it movement, that first initial break is an edge. It's an edge. It's representing the infinite number of edges. Or infinite number of straight lines. 